WCNC Charlotte. This is Flashpoint, where power and politics collide and the tough questions get asked and answered. Thanks for joining us here for a special holiday edition of Flashpoint. I'm Ben Thompson. It is the season of giving. So today we're looking at ways the Charlotte community is really giving back and giving back in big ways. It has been a tough year for a lot of folks. A year of record inflation and a downturn in the economy led some folks to lose their jobs. Today we're highlighting a few organizations making holiday wishes come true every single day. Joining us now, Melissa Hovey. She serves as the managing director of Share Charlotte. They're a, a local group partnering with more than 400 organizations to help support nonprofits. Melissa, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Well, as we celebrate the holidays with, with family and friends, we also know so many folks don't have the relatives or more importantly, the resources so many of us rely on. So what kind of year has it been for an organization like yours that, that really has your hands in, in so many different parts of the greater Charlotte area that are in need? Yeah, you know, we're seeing so much need across the board. I mean, inflation, right? The story of 2022 um, is affecting everything from, you know, families who, you know, you think about families where there's no wiggle room in the budget for um, an extra 9% of cost in food or of increased rent and things like that. So they rely on local nonprofits to help fill in the gaps. And, you know, you know, which, you know, the cycle continues, the food costs for nonprofits. So it's just been a real struggle um, for so many people in our community and not just the people. If you think about, you know, feeding animals, um, feeding birds um, at the Raptor Center, you know, the cost to feed their 900 birds a year has gone up substantially. So everyone's really struggling with the increased cost across the board. Um, and so really, as a community, we we just really would love for people to come in and give or donate in any way they can to help fill in those gaps that we're seeing. What you do is really interesting and you affect so many different kinds of uh, people. Help us explain what Share Charlotte is able to do and, and how you're able to help out so many groups. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, we, through our online platform, which is unique in the country, right? No one really has this, this, this Google of nonprofits, if you will, for just Mecklenburg County. So our, our nonprofits here, we have actually 630 on our website, which is a large majority of the nonprofits here in town. Um, so people can come on and find nonprofits they can connect with. We're really trying to make it so easy for the community, our neighbors, to find and connect with local nonprofits so they can lend their money, their time, um, their talents to local nonprofits and make that direct impact for them. And so, you know, we, what we are able to do is have one place for the community to come, whether it be a connection through our online platform or events, um, we create that connection and that ability to, for you as a neighbor to go and find the nonprofit that you want to go support. Um, and, and give your time and talents here. You're, you're, you're talking about, I, I think, the give shop, and it, it's, it is really interesting, something that you guys do. And, and folks can yes. go, go on your website, um, pick uh, an organization, pick supplies to help that organization. Um, it, it gives people a real tangible way uh, to give back. Where did this idea come from? Yeah, you know, I, it came from, you know, just seeing the need from nonprofits to say, you know, you know, they were spending their budget on the items that people need, like can openers, for example, you know, loaves and fishes needs can openers so that when they're giving out food, you know, and cans that someone has that. So they were spending their own money, but through our gift shop, we were able to make that easy. And, and Amazon really helps make it really easy, right? That you can just in a couple of clicks, um, shop someone's a nonprofit's wish list and the items are shipped directly to their door. You know where your money's going. Um, and, you know, it can be when you might not have a whole lot to give, maybe you can give less than $5 to support a can opener for loaves and fishes. But it's really about, you know, our job and our mission is just to make sure that nonprofits get the support they need to run their organization so that they can help people in our community. And um, so we try to offer the most simple and effective ways that the community can support them. Uh, understandably, this is a broad question, but what do you see is, is the greatest need right now in our community? Right, um, you know, it, it comes back to basics. Um, it comes to food, it comes to housing, 
um, you know, in, in those areas where costs are going up so much, anything that anyone can do in the community to, to we really want people to give in any way that means the most to them, what means the most to their hearts. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about where people are really struggling right now, it's the cost of food and the cost of housing is, is just really going up and making it unmanageable. And it's for the people you wouldn't really think about, like the teachers, people who are not making the big salaries, you know, that, you know, they are the ones that are having to now talk to loaves and fishes or Second Harvest Food Bank about needing some extra food in their pantry this year. So, you know, it's just think about how, you know, if your budget's being squeezed, someone with a really low budget's really being squeezed. So I would just ask people to hopefully, if you've got a little extra, donate to a local nonprofit and food and housing or really anywhere. All costs are going up and any donation matters. Speaking of any donation, if somebody can't give a monetary donation, what are some uh, some yeah. other ways that folks can give back? Yeah, you know, volunteer time. You know, you can pledge volunteer time through our site. You know, you pick an organization um, and sign up to volunteer with them. It, it really just connects you to that organization and you can figure out what time makes sense for you. But volunteer time, volunteers have gone down so much since the, the pandemic and organizations depend on volunteers to run their organization, organization to sort the food, to, you know, do anything that, you know, they may not have the staff to, um, to manage. And so um, time is so valuable. It's actually worth almost $30 an hour for a nonprofit. So just think if you can't give money, which is okay, you can give maybe a couple of hours next year in 2023 can make it part of your New Year's resolution to give back in terms of time to a local organization. And that can mean so much to so many different groups. In what ways do you see your organization uh, evolving um, and the need evolving as we head into the new year? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, unfortunately, some things never change in terms of the need for people to give their time, I think, with things opening back up and the need to come together, you know, becomes um, greater. You know, I think the need for volunteerism is going to go just up even more. You know, I think there's just some big themes that we go into next year is, you know, we need to care about, you know, how things, you know, how much things are costing and how we can give back in that way. We need to think about our environment. You know, that's such a critical piece of how are we as community members helping um, to help our, keep our environment clean and our air clean and things like that. So I would say, you know, as things evolve and as we go into 2023, um, we just need to make sure that we are looking after our community members and our citizens. And I would just ask everyone to just think about ways that you and your families or your, your loved ones can help make a difference in our community. We, we really can set a standard here in Charlotte for how philanthropy is done right and how we can all work together to make our community stronger. All right, here's your chance to make your pitch, folks at home uh, this Christmas time uh, with a family. They're feeling generous. Uh, what's the best way they can support Share Charlotte and some of your partner organizations? Yes, please go to sharecharlotte.org. And I would say just look at, we've got a holiday nonprofit gift guide on our site that has some of the wishes of our local nonprofits. That's an easy way to shop. You can see what they need um, and or just you know, look with your heart through our filters on our site. It helps you really navigate through our 630 nonprofits to find one that means the most to you and your family. And I'd say get together and find one that you say, you know, let's support them this year. Let's make a difference for their organization and give our money or our time. And um, I think you're going to feel really good about doing that. I do recommend going on your website. It's it's very easy, um, nifty, and sort of user friendly, and you can give back in an easy, tangible also transparent way. All right, Melissa Hovey uh, with Share Charlotte. Melissa, thanks for coming on. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thanks so much. Have a great day. More Flashpoint after this.